Hi, it's the Irish Gypsy here to bring you something a little new uh, for this month. Uh, I don't know if I'll continue doing it uh, for the following months. It depends on what the feedback is and if people find it useful. In addition to the monthly general readings that I put out at the beginning of the month and mid-month, I am also adding a shorter three-card only uh, love snapshot, which will give a uh, kind of a snapshot, a, a glimpse um, of the path of love and romance aimed towards those of you who are in relationships and those of you who are dating or open and wanting uh, love and romance. So for those of you who are not interested in any such things I uh, just stick with the general readings because uh, these are general readings too so uh, make sure to check your rising and your moon sign love snapshots for additional insight and clarification they may resonate a little more predictively for you because there's a lot of you watching so of course it's not going to mean the same thing to the same degree for everyone watching because you all have different things going on in your lives and if any of you are interested in a personal tailored just for you one-on-one -on -one reading with me and you haven't read with me before you can click on that little about or description button on my YouTube channel's homepage which which will give you a little more information and my email address which is maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com i would be delighted to work with you uh, you can also find me through that email address on paypal if anyone should choose to donate uh, a few dollars towards support of my youtube channel and thank you to those of you who do uh, for current turnaround time for personal readings is anywhere from a few days upwards of two weeks. Uh, but since I do readings full time six days a week, I'm usually able to get back with you pretty quickly and set up a reading almost always within a two week period of time. So if you're interested, send me an email. We'll set something up for you. So moving right along, this love snapshot is for Scorpio, the water sign of Scorpio for May 2017. Let us have a glimpse. A look at love and romance for Scorpio, May 2017, three cards. Scorpio, May 2017, love and romance, three cards for those attached and those looking. Scorpio, single and attached, love and romance, May 2017. Okay, Scorpio, your first card is the Five of Wands. Second card is the King of Cups, and your third card is the Ten of Cups. Lovely, beautiful outcome. Um, most of these love snapshots for May have gone uh, uh, pretty bright. So your first card is the Five of Wands, fire energy. That's the element that governs wands. So it's a fiery suit. It's a dynamic suit. The energy of wands is, is active, dynamic, change, movement, action, power. It's all about building and creating and manifesting. The Five of Wands can be a card of competition. For those of you who are single and looking, you may be focused on someone because you have an actual specific person in May this month, a lot of you, this King of Cups. You may be in competition for someone that you have a, a love romantic interest in, uh, or you may feel like you're in competition with other people uh, for someone that you have a love or romantic interest in. Uh, you may be feeling a little discouraged. Uh, the Five of Wands can represent circular conflict, uh, internal and external. You may be feeling like there's, you know, too much competition out there, maybe feeling a little unsure of yourself or in some self-doubt uh, about what you have to offer because there's a lot of people out there all looking for, you know, Mr. Right or Mrs. Right. So, um, but don't get stuck in this energy because uh, I see a really nice outcome for uh, a lot of you. For those of you who are in uh, a relationship, again, this could represent some kind of conflict that you're in with your partner. Uh, this could be conflict that you're experiencing internally about your relationship, being in conflict with your partner. The Five of Wands would be like petty kind of squabbling energy, circular conflicts, like arguing about the same thing over and over again. Again, try not to get stuck in that energy. Uh, the Five of Wands can also represent uh, sparring, uh, getting out and having fun too. So, so uh, particularly those of you who are in a, uh, an established relationship, you may just need to get out together more and spend some more time around each other uh, in order to kind of get past this, this little bit of a conflictive energy. Now your second card is the King of Cups. Here we have water energy, which is the element that governs cups. This, this suit uh, manifests in the emotional area of our life. It's about emotions, feelings, love, relationships, all different kinds of relationships, how we relate to people in our emotional landscape. Kings and queens uh, usually represent people who have reached the mastery of their suit or at the top of their game because they've matured beyond that page and night energy. So the King of Cups would be somebody who's very emotionally stable, very emotionally grounded 
well-rounded. He's sometimes referred to as the king of cool because he's able to keep his head even when everybody else around him is losing theirs or in a chaotic environment. He's always the calm, peaceful, stable, grounded one that can see the way clear to a solution. Uh, loving, nurturing, stable, supportive, uh, lovely, watery, emotional energy here, but very grounded and stable. Um, of course, we all have our bad days and I'm sure the king of cups does too. Uh, but showing in the upright position. So for those of you in a relationship, this can represent um, your other partner, your partner who may also be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This can just represent you in this month in the relationship, Cancer, Pisces, another, you know, Scorpio like yourself or well, it can be, if it's you, it's it's going to be a Scorpio. So it's going to vary. For some of you, this is just going to be you in the relationship that you're in. For others, it's going to be the partner that you're in a relationship uh, in uh, with. And you may be experiencing some kind of conflict with them. I feel like you guys may need to just take some time and go somewhere, kind of maybe try and reconnect. Uh, uh, it feels like some of this conflictive energy between the two of you is just maybe you guys are tired or you're stuck in a rut or you've been just doing the same thing over and over again. You know, it's spring at least here in the northern hemisphere sometimes we get that spring restless kind of feeling we want to get out more it may do you guys some good for those of you who are single and looking this looks like someone who may be playing a significant role uh, you may be meeting have just met are meeting now or will be meeting in the month of may uh, another water sign like yourself cancer pisces scorpio or just yourself um, dating looking around but i think for a lot of you you have the chance of actually coming into contact meeting uh, another water sign or somebody who manifests as the character traits of this King of Cups. And again, for those of you who are single and looking, this could be you in the dating world, in the dating life. Again, feeling like you're there's just a lot of other people out there looking for the same thing. Uh, but I try not to get stuck in that energy. Because water tends to seek its own level. So when we put that, we don't want to put out vibes like that, especially when we're looking to attract people to us. So your third and final card is really beautiful. You have the Ten of Cups here. So tens represent the end of a cycle, something coming full circle, the achievement of something. It could be the transition of something in your, your home life or your actual home. But it also represents something that that brings the energy of feeling like the puzzle pieces have finally come together. You you really like where you are. You like where you're headed. The energy in your life is really good. And you just feel really good because tens, it's, it's common, kind of like the, the completion of something emotionally that feels very good, very positive. The Ten of Cups is also nicknamed the Happily Ever After card, the Happy Home card. It speaks of happy home, harmony, peace, balance, that place that you go to at the end of the day where you can just be who you are and it feel everything is in its place. Everything just feels right and everything's flowing. So for those of you in a committed relationship, particularly if you've been going through some kind of conflict energy, it looks like at the at, at the end of May at least, or somewhere during May, you guys kind of resolve it. Maybe you get away and kind of reconnect with each other because I'm feeling a lot of kind of exhausted energy uh, for couples. Uh, but it looks like however you resolve it, whether you get away or you talk to each other about it or uh, uh, you or your partner manifest the most positive traits of your water sign, you know, being uh, emotionally supportive, connective, giving each other what you want. It looks like it It ends up well. There's peace and harmony and balance in home and family and love at the end of the month. For those of you who are single and, and looking, it could be that this King of Cups person that you meet uh, could be queen too. There's lots of you watching, so it could be male or female. Um, it could be that you meet this person and you finally feel like things are going well. You finally feel like you've met someone that you have uh, the chance, the opportunity, the potential to lead to this kind of uh, potentially building a home, a life, a future together, even a family together, the energy flowing really well. And for those of you single and looking, you may not, this King of Cups could just represent yourself out in the field and, and kind of in the field, <laughs> out in the dating field. Uh, and even though there may be some conflict of energy, you may be going through some internal or external conflict or feel like you're a little fish in a great big huge pond, uh, even if you don't meet someone uh, during the month of May, I think a lot of you do, or at least the, there's the opportunity to. But for those of you who don't or decide that whoever shows interest in you, you're not interested in them, you still looks like you still end up 
the end of the month feeling like you're in a good place in life and feeling very hopeful and positive that it is it is still coming for you. So however you look at it, um, it's a it's a really nice reading and whatever this conflictive energy represents for you because there's so many of you watching, it could mean a variety of different things. It looks like it gets resolved really, really nicely um, at the end of May. So Scorpio, that pretty much wraps up your love snapshot for May 2017. I hope you have enjoyed it and found it helpful in some way. Uh, again, if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, just click on that little about or description button on my channel's homepage for more information and my email address, which is Maggie, the number one, McGuire at gmail.com. I would be most happy to work with you. I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the mid-month general readings. And until then, Scorpio, as always, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. And I hope to see you soon. Happy life and love and romance too. Take care. Bye-bye.